Praise the Lord, precious Jews. Praise the Lord. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the law of love. The law of love is the same law that you find in the commandments that God gave us in the commandments, the Ten Commandments that you read about. In Matthew 22, you read that Jesus says, I think it's Matthew 22, Matthew 22, if I'm not mistaken, it says, um, might not be Matthew 22. Oh yeah, Matthew 22, verse 37, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Then verse 38, he says, this is the first and great commandment. The first and great commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's the first love. So whenever God is telling you to go back to your first love, he's telling you to go back to loving God, your creator. You know, that means love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And the way that you love God is you obey his commandments. That's how you show God you love him. You obey his commandments. Those who obey God's commandments are the ones who love God. That's what Jesus was saying. Uh, in the Bible, he says, if you obey my commandments, it will, those who obey his commandments are the ones that love him, that love God. Then, verse 39 said, and the second is like it, the second law, the second law for us to inherit the kingdom of God, the second law of love is like the first, which says, in verse 39, Jesus says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, you see, on these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. That means everything that the law has been, has been, um, has been preaching to us, everything the prophets have been preaching throughout the Bible, all are, all are based on love. That's what Jesus is saying. So every time God comes to you, and tell you to do something or give you a commandment, that commandment is love, is based on love. So now let us turn to, to shed some more light on this so you can see what I'm talking about. Let us go to the, uh, to the book of um, Romans, Romans chapter 14, where it explains love. It's going to break down love for you, how love is related to God's commandments, the commandments of the law and the prophets. So let's go um, to the book of Romans, uh, Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13 says the following. It says, verse 8, Romans 13, verse 8, down to verse 10. Oh, no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. You see, if you love, if like Jesus was saying, he says, if you love your neighbor as yourself, then you will have fulfilled the law. And going down to verse 9, then he goes back to the commandments to show you that the commandments that God gave us from the beginning, even in the Old Testament, are actually love, is actually love. And then somebody that obeyed the commandments are fulfilling God's law. They're fulfilling love. You know, so when you love your neighbor, you will actually obey the commandments. You will fulfill the commandments. That's why Jesus says, when Jesus was coming, he said, don't think I came to abolish the law. I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Because the law itself is love. The, the laws that God, the commandments that God gave us through Moses is actually love. That's why he did not come to abolish it. He did not come to abolish it, but to fulfill it. Because God himself is love. God came to fulfill love. You know, he came to show us love. He came to die for us on the cross. That's why he says in the Bible, no greater love has a man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. So when Jesus Christ came and laid down his life for us on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, that is love. That is Jesus fulfilling the law. Fulfilling the law. That's why he says, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Because the law itself, the commandments themselves that God gave us through Moses, 
are actually the commandments of love. God is actually asking us, commanding us to love him and to love our neighbor. So now you go to verse 9. Verse 9 says, for the commandments, you shall not, for the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. He's basically telling you, if you love your neighbor, you will not steal from your neighbor. If you love your neighbor, you will not murder. You won't kill. You know, if you love somebody, you won't do that to that person. If you love your neighbor, you won't steal from them. You won't lie to them. In other words, you won't bear false witness. You will not covet what your neighbor has. You won't, you won't, you won't have a, a, a desire, you know, and, and be jealous of what your neighbor has. You'll be happy for what they have. You'll be happy for them. So that's love. You see? So when you love your neighbor as yourself, you will in turn fulfill the commandments because the commandments is love itself because it's telling you don't steal from your neighbor don't lie to your neighbor don't sleep with your neighbor's wife or you know you know or don't sleep with your neighbor's husband that's love when you love your neighbor you won't do those things so that's why the commandments when you obey the commandments when you when you love your neighbor you are actually fulfilling the commandments you are obeying the commandments so when you obey the commandments actually you're loving your neighbor and you're also loving God so now let's go to verse 10 verse 10 says love does no harm to a neighbor therefore love is the fulfillment of the law so that means if you love your neighbor you will not harm your neighbor when you steal from your neighbor you harm your neighbor that's why when somebody break the commandments of God they actually break the law of love that means they do not they do not love their, their neighbor that's why they have to repent. So that's why when somebody, that's why we preach repentance. That's why you got to tell people, turn away from sin. Because sin is the transgression of the law. The transgression of God's commandments. When somebody go against God's commandments, they basically uh, break love. They break, um, they break uh, uh, unity with love. Now they're not loving their neighbor. You know, because when somebody go and steal from their neighbor, they sin. They sin. But at the same time, they harm the neighbor. They harm the neighbor by sinning, by stealing from the neighbor. So that's why the scripture tells you, love does no harm to a neighbor. So when you love your neighbor, you won't steal, you won't steal from your neighbor. You won't lie to your neighbor. You won't covet your neighbor's wife or your neighbor's sheep or what they have. You'll be happy for them. And then, and then you will love them. You know, you will not lie to them. You will not break the commandments. So that's why it's important to understand that the New Testament and the Old Testament is still the same. Like it's, it's, it's God. When Jesus came, he came to fulfill. He came to fulfill the commandments. You know, he came to fulfill that law. You know, he came to live it. You know, so he didn't come to break it because he, he himself is love. And the commandments is teaching you how to love. It's teaching you to love your neighbor because to not do certain things to your neighbor. When you don't do things to your neighbor, that's wrong. When you don't sin, you know, then you are loving your neighbor. That's why many times you will hear us telling people, repent of your sins, repent of your sins. Because when you turn away from sin, you're basically turning away from things that can harm your neighbor. You start to love your neighbor again. Now you won't steal from them. That's why we tell you, repent from stealing. You won't, you won't murder. You know, you won't lie. There's a lot of things you will not do because now you love your neighbor. Okay, so that's that. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about also, if I have time, I might not have time, I might run out of time, is the story about the rich young ruler, which also was obeying the, the law of love, the Ten Commandments. He was obeying the law of love, he was obeying the commandments of God. And then, Jesus, uh, he, he went to Jesus and asked Jesus, uh, good teacher, I forgot what, how he said it, but he said, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of God? Then Jesus said to him, obey the commandments. You see, Jesus himself went back to the commandments again. Obey the commandments. You know why? Because the commandment is love. That's why he says, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Because the commandment is love. So he says, obey the commandments. And then he said, all these I've obeyed. And then Jesus said, okay, well, there's one more thing you like. Go and sell your possession and give to the poor. Then the rich young ruler was sad. He didn't, he had, because he had great possessions and he didn't want to do that. And he went, he went.